Welcome to the Confluence. The Months January cold desolate, February all dripping wet, March wind ranges, April changes, birds sing in tune to flowers of May, and sunny June brings longest stay. In scorched July, the storm clouds fly, lightning torn, August bears corn, September fruit in rough October, earth must disrobe her, stars fall and shoot in keen November, night is long and cold is strong in bleak December. Now let's see what it means. The poem is the description of the seasons as experienced by the poet. The poet is Christina Rossetti and she lived in London, England. The major seasons described are winter, spring, summer and autumn. January cold as late, February all dripping wet. In January and February the climate is very cold. The poet feels miserable. The leaves are wet with snow melted water dripping from them. Desolate means miserable, lonely. March wind ranges. The weather as the days move forward towards March, we witness that the wind is blowing in its full fervor and all the leaves of the trees start shaking and trembling due to the fierce full wind. It is a windy month. April changes. Birds sing in tune to flowers of May. The weather as the days move towards April and May, when spring approaches, the surroundings are beautiful, with birds chirping and flowers blooming. And sunny June brings longest day. In scorched July, the storm clouds fly, lightning torn. Summer presents itself with long and sunny days. In the months of June and July, there are also thunder showers in late July. Scorched means slightly burnt and lightning torn means with lightning flashing through the clouds as if tearing them apart. August bears corn, September fruit. As the rain has set in, so has the harvest season with the poet witnessing fresh corn crops and other fresh crops. In rough October, earth must disrobe her. Stars fall and shoot in keen November. Autumn marks the transition from summer to winter. The trees shed their leaves. This poet has described this as the earth disrobing herself. Soon the nights get longer and the weather gets colder. But in the absence of the rain bearing clouds, the skies are clear as the poet expects to see shooting stars. Disrobe her means here in the poem to become bare because of the trees shedding their leaves. And the night is long and cold is strong in bleak December. Finally, as December approaches, the winter gets harsh and biting cold. Thus, the poet has completed the cycle of seasons she has encountered in a year. Bleak means cold, dull and colorless. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.